The sun will come up. We underestimated the time the sun was going to come up a little bit due to the time change, but we are going to try and get out of here shortly to the Ragged's. We're leaving the Exumas and it might be the last time we're here well, for a long time. One thing that ensured the sun would come up this morning is I sang this song. The sun will come up tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to spare you. <laughs> and there's our sister boat, Eliana. Super cool boat. We're really grateful that they have a shallower draft than us too because they're gonna lead the way. We're sailing! It's been a long time since we've done this. Woo! Feels good. Alright, we got 18 knots of wind on the beam, a single reef, and we're doing seven and a half. Honey. It's been a while since we've been sailing, probably a month and a half. It's definitely a very sporty sail, uh, having to hold on no matter where you go. Sporty. <laughs> We've always wanted to visit the Ragged Islands, so pulling into Flamingo Key was a dream come true. This island chain is extremely remote, so we needed to prepare well by not only provisioning for a month, but also making sure the weather was stable. All of the anchorages are on the west side of the islands, so there are very few places to hide from in a north or a west wind. We are the envy of the neighborhood. Look at that. Our beautiful fish and steak. It is a beautiful morning here at Flamingo Key and we are getting ready to take off. The sun's coming up. We're headed south to Little Ragged Island. About as far south as you can get. Far south in Waterworld. Yeah. This has been our dream and we are doing it. It's so cool. See you in a little while. Probably in 15 minutes, you'll be caught up to us. Yeah, baby, 8.1. Yes, pigs can't fly. What do you think, baby? Awesome. We took off today and we didn't reef because the forecast said that the gust would not be above 18. Well, the forecast is a little bit wrong and we were overpowered and the angle of the wind was not great. So we thought, let's bail now. We're going to go to Jamaica Key and call it a day. Well, our friends on Valiana encouraged us to reconsider because we're going to start getting southeast winds for the next four or five days and we won't be able to get south at all. So we ended up pulling out the sails again, putting the reef in, and now we are back at it and it's so much better. We're not overpowered and we're doing well. Brown's working on hopefully catching another fish like yesterday. Yeah! It's a sporty sail today for sure with 18 knots of wind. Uh, almost on our beam, we're doing seven and a half reefed in, which is uh, pretty good. So it's going to be an eight to ten hour day. Look, <laughs> look at this. Look, something got a hold of it. This was a huge lure, probably six or seven inches. It is just decimated. We are this close from our anchorage in Little Ragged Island. We are so excited to get here, not only because We've had a very super sporty sail, but it's been two full days of very sporty sails. We are right into the wind with some pretty rough seas. And also, we are only 62 nautical miles, believe it or not, from Cuba right now. How crazy is Isn't that? that crazy? We're, we're a day sail away from Cuba. Anyway, we're almost there, very close. Oh, Good night. We are looking forward to getting to see Duncan Town. It's a gorgeous day, We've gotten a lot done. Now it's time to play.
Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. This is great. It's the Eagles Nest restaurant and bar. Oh. So they, uh, they got all kind of renovation going in on my side. All right, so what's the protocol when you approach an airport to cross it? I don't know if you have to look left or right first. <laughs> Duncan Town, the capital of Ragged Island, is the only settlement on the island. It sits on a breezy hill overlooking a landlocked shallow harbor. The town is just over a mile long and is home to around 70 residents. We found the best Wi-Fi in the Bahamas, in Duncan Town. In 2017, Hurricane Irma devastated the town, but thankfully no one who stayed behind was hurt. While the impact of the hurricane is still seen everywhere, the Bahamians are committed to the rebuilding process. This is the famous Maxine. She is known in the cruising community. She will do anything and everything for any cruiser. She's amazing. Donna was telling me about the sea nuts that look like little hamburgers. Oh well, yeah, I have some right here. Oh, have you seen these? No. I love them, they're just beautiful. Yeah, yeah, some big <gasps> ones. Look at these seeds. This is what I'm looking for. This is what what you are find. They, are you at a place where there is right now, little ragged? Get a prettier one of that. Oh, you don't think this is pretty? No. Oh, well, she's gonna hook you up. <laughs> she's a con. All right, Maxine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you hook me up with the white. Mine is pretty. Well, that's a bit big, big Okay, that's beautiful. It Thank is beautiful. you. Thank yeah. you for everything. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Okay. All right. We'll see you again. The Duncan Town Settlement was named for Duncan Taylor, who settled here in the 19th century. He and his brother developed the island's salt industry, remnants of which can be seen in the salt ponds, still providing a smaller scale export commodity for locals today. Little is known about the early days of the Ragged Island chain, but the Great Island is believed to have been a pirate's lair at some point, in addition to a fortress for the Spanish. On the western coast of the island, Blackbeard's Bay and Blackbeard's Well signify that the pirate may have established his headquarters near the well because of its unique location. All right, day two of exploration here at Little Ragged. We are going to head towards Cocoa Beach and walk the beach today and hopefully find some hamburger seeds. That's the goal. We're loving our sea glass finding days and we now have Val on the team. We have picked that beach over clean. I'm very proud of us. We each have a nice sized bag to bring back to the boat. Well, it's pretty much dead calm as we head up to Hog Key. Not a bad thing, uh, but it would have been nice to sail. <laughs> so instead we motor, it's all good. So we're coming up on Hog Key right now. This is just north of Ragged Island. And wow, this place is famed. Everybody who comes to the Raggeds, make sure they anchor here at least once. It is famous for the Hog Key Yacht Club. And this was set up by Maxine. And boaters, cruisers have added their personal touch to this. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be a unique group of cruisers that makes it all the way down to this unique location. And we are coming up on it right now. We're almost there. There are a bunch of boats and I'm just so excited. I hope that you're excited too. We can't wait to tell you more about this really cool place. And maybe one day you can make it here on your boat. Walking under the rafters, reading the names of boat and crew who at one time stood where we were standing was epic. We even recognized a few boat names. Some are friends, some famous. 
all of us part of a small group that has ventured to what seems like the end of the earth. It was now time for us to find our beach trash and proudly raise our boat name as part of this elite group of sailors.